Hello everybody, welcome to Life is Strange. Let's get cracking. in a hell of a storm. I wonder if she blacked out or something. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a tornado. Oh, it's a tornado on water. Water, water, sp water spouts, I think they're called. Water tornadoes. Not too sure. Holy shit. You can say that again. It's a big one. <laughs> So surreal. Called film, little pieces that was a dream? But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. Because I'm in class. Everything's cool. Now, so I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, Bitch. can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? I said the teacher didn't because say anything after after spaces. that girl threw that piece like of paper at that other girl's face. You're supposed to be sticking up for your pupils, she saw dude. Humanity is tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that. Thing. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. What's wrong with it? So, seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. I can't Isn't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Yeah, pencil case is cute. She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the I era. I should take a picture to but prove I'm still strong. here. Plus, well, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Well, take a selfie in a bit. Selfies aren't the be-all and end-all of everything, okay. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you have my little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Now, you do. Frank's stark I have. I, I don't know anything stories. about photography, like so I have Hato, no idea who they're talking about. Renaissance man. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh. Oh. Hold on. What the hell? <laughs> what did I press? What did I do wrong? Oh. Oh, okay. Pages of a journal. 
Here, I'll go through each page. And you can pause the video and read if you want. There's page one. Uh, she's the bitch, is she? Victoria. Hmm. Ah, that's the picture that she's got in her portfolio. What are these? And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. Let's take one then. It's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. Sorry, teenagers of today. You're not the, the first people to do it. <laughs> has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process Bitch face. brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Picture I just took of myself in here. No. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Shut up, jerk. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. <laughs> Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Some people never grow up, Max, unfortunately. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. What? £5,299 for a camera? Okay. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. 
The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. I have no idea what that means, but okay. <laughs> that was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Ooh, printer. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I love the little sketchy kind of lines that they put on the, uh, the different objects that you can interact with. This kind of thing, the little sketchy lines. I think that's really cool. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Hmm. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Some kind of Photoshop. They might not have been allowed to use that word though, so. Hello, Kate. Ball of paper that they threw at her. I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. What? What have you been up to? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. I hope you've not been putting things of yourself online, Kate. You should be careful on the internet, you know. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Yeah, let's go and grab a cup of tea. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Hmm. Oop. I'm stuck on something. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Yeah, it's good to see a, a woman in her bra in the classroom. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Nerd. <laughs> but then again, I'd be the same with other stuff as well. I'd probably be a nerd around like old movies and stuff. I'd be like, oh my god, I haven't seen that one in ages. But old fashioned cameras are pretty cool. You could probably get um, proper vintage looking pictures from them rather than putting a filter on because most most pictures that you want to look vintage now you have to put a filter on them via things like instagram and things like that but i think the old-fashioned cameras when when you took pictures with them they had like a certain way that the pictures would come out and they'd look another you know daily really nice so cool that we can check these out anytime the Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. I've heard of Annie Leibovitz. I think she's the, the lady that takes pictures of, you know, they have like pictures of like babies, just as like, Sunflowers and stuff like that. I think she's the lady that takes pictures of babies dressed as flowers huh. and stuff. This might make a cool shot. Rachel Amber forever. Macro eyes. Ah. Oh, these look like different things that I can take pictures of then. 